little unexpected video from me here today. I have a list that I've made up of uh, about a dozen future topics or ideas for doing the videos about the music and so forth. Um, today's video wasn't on that list. This is one of those things that uh, when you listen to a record and you get inspired. Here's the record. God don't never change the songs of Blind Willie Johnson on Alligator. I uh, had this record for a while. I pre-ordered it uh, from Amazon when it came out. And uh, of course, most of the stuff you get from Amazon, you get an instant rip or a, a free download of the MP3 files. So I'd listen to this on my computer system, previewed the tunes, listened here and there, kind of mixed up around and so forth. And uh, it was okay, but uh, that's not the proper way uh, to listen to a good record. Uh, you sat and listened to that record like I did today from beginning to end, and you get excited and you get inspired. One of the things about this uh, roots music, the old time blues and so forth is basically my favorite genre. The sound quality is very important to me of music. And of course I've got hundreds of CDs of the old 78s blues guys, but the uh, old scratchy 78s, I got most of those for research reference material, not for enjoying the music. So I love it when modern people uh, with high quality recording do this old time music and that's exactly what we have here. So on this record, all different uh, modern artists starts off with Tom Waits, Lucinda Williams, Derek Trucks and Susan Tedeschi, Cowboy Junkies, Blind Boys of Alabama, Sinead O'Connor, When's the last time you saw or heard anything about Sinead O'Connor? I thought it was kind of surprising to appear on this record. Luther Dickinson featuring the Rising Star Fife and Drum Band. Got a lot of kind of variety in the arrangements and the musicians here. Another Lucinda Williams. Another Tom Waits. Maria McKee. Wasn't familiar with her. Really liked her and closed out with Ricky Lee Jones. And this is a good example of how listening to the music properly makes all the difference in the world. When I first got the MP3s, I was very interested to hear what Ricky Lee Jones did with the music, and I didn't particularly care for it because I'm hearing it out of context. And I wasn't uh, set up by the rest of the tune. But when I listen to this record from beginning to end, the Ricky Lee Jones track is the perfect track to close out this record. And it was excellent. So it just makes a difference on how you listen to those things. One of the tracks on here, Blind Boys of Alabama, Mother's Children Have a Hard Time. It was recorded in that famous studio in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, and it's worth the price of the record for me for this one track. The sound quality, of course, is good. The musicians on this uh, track are excellent. The Blind Boys are great gospel singers. In fact, I'd heard of them, was aware of them. I'm going to look for some more of their music. Uh, so I wanted to... Uh, talk a little bit about the, the history. This is the inner jacket. Has lots of information about Blind Willie, about the music and so forth. So this makes it really enjoyable. Got my magnifying glass here. This fine print's hard to read even with glasses. I'm going to read just a couple little bits here. Be interesting. This is uh, his contemporaries talking, Edward W. Claiborne and Delta player Sam Bo Weevil Jackson Butler. These guys were crafty and talented. But when Blind Willie started playing slide, it's like he invented the dunk. His gift for improvising melodies and absolute control of rhythm and pitch are unmatched to this day. 
Now, Blind Willie made a lot of 78 records, and most of them are preaching and just straight uh, kind of gospel music, but he did a little bit of stuff that was in the uh, blues tinged or in a kind of blues style, and that's the records that the collectors want and the music that was selected for this album. Another interesting thing, you look right here, A little advertisement here about uh, when this guy was going to record or perform at this church. This happens to be a church that's still standing today. This was the last known venue where Blind Willie played, and it says the last known venue Blind Willie Johnson played that is still standing in the New Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church in Shiner, Texas. Johnson came to Shiner from San Antonio in October 1933 to play the 100 capacity church for 10 cents a ticket. How times have changed, huh? So, uh, just a nice record of Roots music uh, performed by a lot of different people. So the, the styles are a little different. They don't all sound the same. Um, this was my Sunday go to Mert go to meeting church for today. See ya.